Good evening with the sports world. I'm Anne-Marie Burke. Mario Burke and Burkhard Ellis are into the semifinals of the men's 100 meters at the 23rd Central American and Caribbean Games in Barranquilla, Colombia, when the track and field leg got going this evening. Burke won heat one with a time of 10.21 seconds, while Ellis got 10.35 to finish third in heat four. Meantime, Tia Adena Bell and Fabian Norgrove will both be looking to book their spots in the finals of the women's and men's 400 meter hurdles tonight, where they compete in the semi-final stage. Barbados will also be hoping to reach the finals of the women's 800 meter through Sonia Gaskin and Shade Sili, while in the men's equivalent, Antonia Masco will contest the semi-final. Barbados Samba Company LSC are into the finals of the BA Bear Premier League after claiming victory in the decisive third game of the semi-final series of Station Hill Cavaliers. The game was a tooth and nail fight with scores locked at 17 all after the first quarter. Cavs then took command in the second 39-35 before LSC pulled it back in the third 73-64 to go on to win 90-70. For the Lakers, five players were in double figures with John Jones having the game high 22 points, Mark Bridgman contributing six 16 points. Keith Burkett and Shea McElbron both had 12, and Jehu Lafali added 10. For the Cavs, Granville Gittins and Joel Hunt posted 18 points, and Darren Hunt 11. Here's a look at the match. This game was played like a true decider from the first jump shot. Both teams came out firing. In this case, Keith Burkett comes up big for LSC. But this was a basket for basket first quarter. Jamai Puckering goes on the break, then finds Joel Hunt, who finishes with ease. Cavs at it again. It was all hands on deck approach. And then the big man Calvin Patterson gets it and watch it. He sinks it. Cavs bench loving it. But Lakers wasn't easing up and this nice jumper by Darren Hunt kept things in order. And it was locked up at 17 all by the end of the first. The second quarter saw the Cavs going to second gear outside the arc with three big ones was Corey Howard. This time it was Hunt Joel taking it coast to coast and drops it in. LSC was losing ground, so they tried to keep it as tight as possible. Chiamaka Brown, the executor, this time around. But Cavs had put some daylight between themselves and LSC. They were on fire. Stefan Otley getting in on the action. And by halftime, Cavs held a four point lead 39 to 35. But the tables turned in the third. LSC taking Kamal Mark Brishman slam dunks. LSC at it again off the board. Jehu Lafali heading up court again. Watch the play. Brown to Brishman. I wouldn't say Cavs was totally out of it. Hunt with a big three. But LSC had already taken back control. Shots by Brishman. Three big ones. So by the end of the third, Lakers now back in control, 73-64. to 64. And Lakers just continued to run a route of the Cavs in the last 15. A nice floater by Brown. Cavs still trying to keep in the game. Joel Hunt nicely through the D. But LSC could see the path to the finals. John Jones with the backup. Lakers go on to win 90-70 to 70, and they're heading to the finals. The Draxall Sports Facility was a hub of activity over the weekend when past and present cricketers came together in support of their comrade Matthew Rees. Rees, a former cricketer, fell ill last year with serious back problems and its present transfer board sports social and cultural club held a fundraising day in aid of helping him with his medical bills. Though the rains came and delayed the start of the planned T20 match, players took in some dominoes, road tennis and card games. Today is intended to have a cricket match and those who could play raw tennis, those who could play dominoes, certain hand tongue, whoever might be interested in participating today just to be here to come show some support and also to give a donation. We have um, containers at the bar. You can make a contribution towards today's activities. We pretty much bring a piece of every cricket team to this um, location today to, for this very worthy cause. So it is indeed heartening to see that we pull a piece from everywhere for this uh, event. We have with us today Mr. Dwight Sutherland. Um, we ha also have our chairman of the board, Mr. Gregory Nichols. And we have the, with us our acting general manager, Ms. Felicia Sue. 